Slayer. Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 44 Team Doubles gameplay. It is yet again Slayer Pro on rail, and yet again they didn't send anyone for the overshield. And I said it was a bad idea before, but just look what happens. So I get one kill, uh, my teammate picks up a snipe, and we have snipe control. I'm hunting down the other guy and end up picking him off. See, not sending someone over shield is a huge mistake and they are continuing to be aggressive and they <laughs> just keep dying. So this video I want to take to explain how you can better gauge your opponent's playing styles. I talked about it a couple of videos ago about knowing uh, on the how to come back video about knowing how your enemies play. Um, in that context, I said if you are down uh, by however many kills, if you're down by a decent deficit, you have to start thinking about how the other team is playing, how you are playing, and what's making you actually die. Is it that your offset spawns, or is it you doing something that's wrong, or is it you not playing against their playstyle well? So being able to gauge your opponent's playstyles uh, is an extremely important skill in Halo, and it's something I, I, you obviously pick up with just experience, but there are a couple of tips I can give you as well. Um, one of the things you want to do is long-range BR fights are perfect, like super perfect way of gauging your opponent's uh, playstyle. The reason I say that is because you can tell if someone will constantly challenge you and like some people do all of the time this Vic guy is a perfect example um, I don't know if you could tell already in the gameplay but I could when I played him the Vic guy challenges everything uh, if you're having a long-range BR fight with him and he is getting weak he knows you have he has a couple of shots on you uh, he will challenge you he'll pop out and try to challenge you and you know that's just one of those things like you may think that that's not really gauging his playstyle, but figuring out that he likes to challenge things very frequently is figuring out his playstyle, and that'll help you when you, you know, when you put a couple of shots in him, he ducks around the wall, and if you're weak and you really don't want to die in that situation, you better just run away or you better duck behind cover because you know he's popping out to challenge you. Or if you have the upper hand in a BR fight, you can keep looking at wherever he is because you know he's gonna pop out and try to challenge you rather than running away like he probably should so knowing how aggressive or passive people play is uh, is something that really helps you out and I guess challenging is a little different from being passive or aggressive so that's another thing you can gauge about your opponents whether or not they're passive or aggressive the way you can tell that is usually if you and your teammate are together and if someone moves in and tries to take you out, if they push you when you're both alive, you know that they're pretty aggressive. Um, sometimes they don't really intentionally do it, but that's just it. Most aggressive players don't realize that, you know, they kind of unintentionally constantly move in and uh, try to take out the opponents. So what you can do is just... If you're playing passively, if you're just staying like top yellow, top purple, you know, if you're just staying in one area of the map with your teammate and someone starts pushing in, I'm not talking about like putting shots in long range, I'm talking like they actually push in and uh, chances are they're pretty aggressive and you can gauge that if they do it more than once, then they're definitely very aggressive and you can expect that. How that will help you? Well... If you are top yellow and you know they're very aggressive, you're going to have to check purple if you know they're not purple. If you check purple and there's no one there, you know that they're going to be coming from snipe ramp. So you automatically, you know, you pre it, you tell your teammate they're coming snipe ramp, you can call out their position. It's all about predicting. Uh, Halo is more, I'm not going to say it's more about how you play and how smart you play than it is about your actual shot, but it is a strong percentage of how you play, uh, that determines, of how smart you play, that determines whether or not you win. Also, your individual skill obviously matters, but how you play, if you have two smart players versus two people who are better, the smart players will probably win most of the time. So, uh, that's just one of those things. So, the first thing to gauge play style is 
whether or not they challenge you in VR fights. Uh, the second thing is passive or aggressive play styles. You know, if they're passive, you're going to notice that they stay back, they have long range fights. Um, if you weaken them at all, then they run away. See, that Vic guy just challenged me right there and ended up working out for him. If I would have known, if I would have thought he's going to challenge me, I probably could have gotten away from that death. Um, so if people are super passive, they're obviously going to like duck around a wall the second you put a shot or two into them. And they're probably going to be running away and just trying to control power weapons the entire game. The way you can beat a passive player, obviously, you know, you have to push them, you have to coordinate pushes with your teammate, and one way you could do it is to just fight them long range, and as soon as you get them weak and they start running away, just have your teammate there to clean up the kill. You know, get different angles in the map. But knowing their play styles is the perfect way to adjust your play style, and it is the perfect way to win. So, another thing that you want to you want to know in order to better gauge your opponent's play style is what routes they take in the map. You'll notice that my play style on rail is to hold right where I am right now. Top teleporter. I almost always hold that position. Um, it has pros and cons to it obviously. You can get easily naded. You know you can get shot from both sides but it has many pros to it. Um, and I think the pros outweigh the cons, which is why I use it. I always stay top portal. You know, I'll move around the map, but generally speaking, whenever we kill them, you'll see me right now. Like, after, yeah, my teammate wants to give me the snipe, but uh, I'll eventually just try to rotate the top teleporter. So if you know the routes your opponents take, then you can know where they're likely to be, and you can call it out to your teammate. You know, if you... If you and your teammate die, and your teammate, if the other team has map control, you can be like, oh, Vic's probably top purple with snipe, because, you know, he's a passive player, and he doesn't like to go in the middle of the map. And you can play accordingly. Or if they like to stay top teleporter, you can, you know, you can go up each street, and then double team the teleport guy. So, just, you know, through multiple lives, just trying to gauge where they go, um, and what the spots they like to hang around are is that's just another perfect way of uh, getting to know their play style and using it to your advantage anyway i hope those tips helped um that was a csr 44 gameplay on rail i ended up with 18 kills that game and um play styles it's just super important i hope the video helped uh and let me know what other types of videos you want to see i appreciate all feedback i have a lot of gameplays to bring so like and comment uh, i really enjoy reading the comments even though they're very few i really enjoy reading the comments i have and uh that is it so see you later